There isn't an official way to manage navigation in Craft CMS. Unlike other CMSs that offer built-in navigation management, Craft leaves it up to the developer to decide the best implementation for the website or the project. So in this course, I want to review five ways to do navigation in Craft CMS. So let's talk about what those are going to be. First, we'll look at static navigation, just what it is that we are going to just hard code all of the navigation in the template. And then partially dynamic navigation. So it's a combination of static and some dynamic data being pulled in. Global set powered navigation, where we create a global set with a matrix field or a table field and use that to build our navigation in the control panel. Structure powered navigation, where we use the structure of a structure section type and use that to create our navigation. And then finally, plugin powered navigation, where we use one of the popular plugins for building and managing navigation in Craft CMS. Craft is design agnostic and it doesn't impose any layout or design structure on a project. It in focuses entirely on the content. And because it doesn't advocate for one way or another way to do navigation, there is a lot of flexibility in what we can do. Recently on the Craft CMS Discord server, there was a discussion of how to do navigation. And it was really interesting because the input from different people varied significantly. You had those that almost always implemented the navigation manually via hard-coded nav items right in the Twig template. There were those that did it half hard-coded. There were those that chimed in and said, hey, navigation should always be fully controllable and manageable through the control panel. In this course, I just want to advocate for there not being a wrong way, and you should do what is best for your project. Personally, I've primarily used the hard-coded approach for my projects and a mix of everything in between for client or customer projects. So I don't want this helpful discussion locked behind a Discord server and not findable. So I'm going to share it here in video. There's a companion article on the CraftQuest site you can check out as well, where we document some of the most popular methods for creating navigation. All right, with that said, Let's jump in and look at static navigation first.